For quite a while now, I've been trying to build a working retractable lightsaber, but I've ran into a pretty big issue with the fuel I'm using. My main goal with this project was to get a very hot, nearly 30 inch beam in a retractable handheld unit, but no matter how hard I push it, it's practically impossible with just butane. I even tried adding map gas and pure oxygen to the fuel tank and was still limited to about a 25 inch beam. After doing some research, I found a new fuel which should fix the whole beam length issue, and that's hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas has an expansion rate nearly five times higher than butane and the fastest ignition rate in the entire world. Now unlike butane and propane, which are a byproduct of petroleum refining, hydrogen gas is very simple to get from water by a process called electrolysis. Electrolysis is when you pass an electric current through water to break it down into hydrogen and oxygen gas. Now luckily, electrolysis reactors aren't that difficult to make. So I went out, got some sheet metal, rubber, and acrylic, and got to work. I cut the sheet metal into little discs and drilled holes in them for the water to flow, cut some gaskets out of the rubber to separate the sheet metal, and cut a base plate in the acrylic to hold the entire reactor together. I added some bolts to tighten the reactor cell, and screwed in a hose adapter to collect the produced fuel gas, and just like that, the reactor is ready. Now I didn't have any salt or baking soda to use as an electrolyte, so I tried using strontium chloride, which was a terrible decision. It corroded the inside of the reactor and the rubber gaskets, causing all the water to spill out everywhere, and basically destroyed the entire chamber. It formed some weird brown and black goo on the inside, which is very difficult to clean off, and even after cleaning, it's still going to take a ton of sanding and polishing to restore these steel sheets. I guess this is a pretty good lesson not to use highly corrosive chemicals in a reactor made mostly of plastic and metal.